If you call upon your past successes, you succeed. If, on the other hand, you call upon your past failures, you fail even before you start, simply because you cannot think positively with negative feelings any more than you can think negatively with positive feelings. I've heard that people are going to be the way they always are going to be by the time they're in grade school. How can older people change? Age doesn't mean anything, because at any age, if you learn that negative feelings make your image shrink to the size of a small potato, and if you learn to turn your back on the failures of the past and concentrate on the confidence of yesterday and use that confidence today, now, N-O-W, in your present undertaking, you will learn how to succeed in life. You have a success mechanism within you, a self-servo mechanism that will steer your mind to a productive goal if you will let it. For example, when I want to pick up this pen, I pick it up successfully without effort. But as a child, I zigzag many, many times before I knew how to do it successfully. I forgot the failures, and as a child, I just remembered the past successes and used it now as an adult. In the same way, you could learn to pick up success and happiness if in a present undertaking you want to achieve a goal, you call upon your past experiences, the sum total of which is in a tiny electronic computer, a tiny tape recorder in your midbrain. If you call upon your past successes, you succeed. If, on the other hand, you call upon your past failures, you fail even before you start, simply because you cannot think positively with negative feelings any more than you can think negatively with positive feelings. You have a self-servo mechanism or success mechanism that steers your mind to a productive goal, which is what psycho-cybernetics really is. That you can use your imagination either constructively or destructively. How can a person make his imagination either positive or negative? Well, because you are the product of your imagination, win, lose, or draw. If a boy at school thinks he's stupid because he was told he was stupid, he will act and prove to the world that he is stupid. If a salesman who has failed in one undertaking feels that he's a failure, he will always act as a failure to prove to the world he's a failure. When people who are in a habit of shortchanging themselves realize the potential within them that they can rise to their full stature of self-respect as somebody, the results are fantastic. They realize that they're better than what they think they are through psycho -cybernetics. The whole secret of reaching self-fulfillment and self-respect and success as a human being by remembering and remembering only this, that is the opinion of yourself that counts. If you think well of yourself because of some accomplishment and have that confidence which brings a smile to your self-image, you will succeed. Can a person do this by themselves or do they need some sort of help? They can do that absolutely by themselves. They think because they fail, they're a failure. A mistake doesn't make a failure. The business of living is to rise above a mistake. That's what success is, not just being successful. The whole business of success is the capacity to rise above a blunder, a failure. And that's how you do it by using your imagination constructively.